see the picture, and then all of a sudden you can't not see the picture. I finished my course in 83, and in 1990 I thought the whole world would be permaculturized. <laughs> so I didn't bother really getting engaged that much, except on my own property. And uh, I thought, then I finished my course, I thought, ah, oh, everybody's going to get this, this is common sense, which it seems to be. And I thought, this is just going to take off. And in 1990, there wasn't even a permaculture group in my own town, in my own shire. And I thought, what's going on? The world's getting worse. And I went back through my notes, and then there was a little note in there that Bill said, if you're not happy with what's going on locally, somebody's got to get off their ass and change things, and it's probably you. <laughs> And I thought, he was talking about me. <laughs> and he was. And that's what I had to do. And that's what we all have to do. And it's a brave move when you step away from the comfort zone of driving around on fossilized forest sunlight and making a move towards something that's in real time and real energy audit. It's a horribly scary move to step over that line. But something really interesting happens when you do, because actually when you're, at, quite a lot of you might be doing this, you're, you're, you're living in this world, this artificially propped up world, uh, and you're dreaming about being in this, the other world that you know about, the world that deals in these patterns and harmonizes with the, the real energies, and you step over at the weekend and step back into the, 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 the what you feel is secure world, and there's this insecure, insecure, I'm in, I'm out, or oh, I'd love to be over there all the time, but I've got to go back. Right? And every day, you die quite a few times in your mind. Right? You live a life of many deaths and quite a lot of fear. You're feeling quite insecure, stepping back and forwards. And the day you go, oh, stuff it, I can't be bothered, I'm going. <laughs> and you take that other step, all of a sudden, that all just drops away. Fear drops away. No longer is there anything to be afraid of. And you start to function because you decide, I'm going to interfere. I'm going forward to interfere with that system to slow it down and stop it, if I can. And I don't care if I die in the battle. I'm going forward, charge. I'm going all the way. And all fear drops away. You now are only going to die once, which we all are. And you go forward. And all sorts of things start to arrive on your doorstep, all sorts of resources all sorts of offers and opportunities, and you have to be prepared to say yes. And if you keep saying yes, you don't know where you're going to end up, but it's going to be a very interesting journey, and it's going to be a very, very long journey, and time is going to expand enormously. When you look back on a year, it's going to feel like 10 years, not 10 minutes. When you look, like, look back on the meaningful things that you've been doing, it's enormous. It's scary to look back over 10 years. It's an encyclopedia if you want to write it down more. So there's this interesting thing that happens to you when you decide to take that sort of warrior stance and move forward and interfere. And all you have to do is have confidence basically in this stuff. And you know it's right. You know you can give it all the energy you have. And um, interesting, what seems like coincidences seem to keep happening. I don't know why, I don't, want, I don't need to know why, but they do happen, and they keep happening, and they keep arriving on your doorstep in all different forms, and you just have to keep saying, yes, I'll do it, yes, I'll have a go, yes, I'll try. 
and more and more of it happens. And, it, you, just, and you can start at your back door, right at your back door, and keep going with it.